Hey guys, this is the eighth video in this series, Becoming Well Read. If you missed the last video, I spoke about The Giver by Lewis Slory. But in this video, we're actually going to talk about Salem's Lot by Stephen King. So Salem's Lot by Stephen King is a vampire story that takes place in Jerusalem's Lot. It's a small town. I believe it was in Maine, but I'm not quite sure. So the copyright for this was 1975. So this is one of his earlier works. I've been going through his works like as early as possible trying to get to uh, the newer stuff. And so Salem's Lot is, again, very early work by Stephen King dealing with vampires. Uh, the book centers around the main character is Benjamin Mears. Here he is a writer. He's trying to get away from like certain things he wants to go to the Marston house in Salem's lot so he could just quietly write his book and also to get over this thing that happened to him when he was a child he was like dared to go into the Marston house and he saw a dead body there was like a murder there in the past it's kind of crazy the history I'm not going to go into all that but he cannot get into the Marston house because it was recently brought out by a guy named Mr. Straker. Mr. Straker is new to Jerusalem's lot and what Mr. Straker is doing is opening up an antique shop. And so he's getting shipments in. There's all this really nice stuff. And the people of Jerusalem, not, they're a bit, you know, not weirded out, but like apprehensive because they're a small town in Maine. There's really no need for this really nice antique shop in town. Uh, what they don't know is that he's a vampire. And little by little, the people of the town of Jerusalem's lot start being converted into vampires and it starts off with some kids um and the town does notice they go looking for uh the missing kid and all this stuff but little by little the town gets converted into vampires and you just see less and less people and the people who know about the vampires uh benjamin mirrors susan a few of the other people mark petrie uh which is a little kid they are like sort of in a resistance like trying to fight the vampires it's a pretty good vampire uh, story. Like, you read this, and if you ever come from a small town and know how, like, the dynamics of a small town work, that would really help you because this book in particular, uh, it looks at, like, how the people of a small town communicate and the dynamics of all that stuff. Um, in the end, most of the people who are in the resistance die. Die fighting vampires until... Uh, Benjamin Mears and Mark Petrie are the only ones left. They kill the main guy. They kill uh, Mr. Straker or Mr. Stroker, whatever his name is. He was in a coffin. It was during the day. He was asleep. They come to him and uh, they try to like stake through the heart thing. And it works out. And the other vampires are like all in shock. Like, so how would you, why would you kill this guy? And so then they escape. The prologue in the beginning, uh, you would see that they escaped all the way down, uh, I think it was to Mexico or to some South American country, eventually decided to go back. And when they do, they start a huge fire and they say, hopefully this kills off the vampires. They won't have a place to sleep. You know, they won't have this stronghold here in, in Jerusalem's lot. So that's basically the story of Jerusalem's lot. I liked it a lot. I found it enjoyable um, for one of its early works. I didn't like Carrie as much when I had read it, so it's good to see that this one was better. It did have its dry moments, its moments where uh, things were over-explained or uh, where everybody's just together, like, talking for long amounts of time and uh, a lot of things about, like, researching vampires. I mean, it's interesting in its own right, but it's also not really what I expect. But anyway, that's the story of Jerusalem Slot by Stephen King. Um, would I recommend it? Probably. I probably would recommend it if you're looking for a good vampire story, something to read in the fall, maybe. This book does take place in the fall. It's getting cold. That's another thing I should mention. So this is a good book to read like around now. Like probably before December. So if you, if you can read Jerusalem Slot, uh, do that. Again, I think there was a movie about this too. I'm not, that's Jerusalem Slot by Stephen King. And for the next book I'll be talking about, um, it's Rage by uh, Richard Bachman was also Stephen King. So, uh, Stephen King used the pseudonym Richard Bachman for a few of his early books, and so one of the earliest ones was Rage. This book here says the copyright for Rage was 1977. Um, but yeah, so I read basically the first portion of this, uh, the Rage portion, which is about this much. Um, so yeah, I'll be talking about Rage next, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this uh, little series. I know I don't go too in depth or, or talk about uh, too much. Hopefully that is good. I like to keep it short and sweet. 
But yeah, please subscribe, like, leave a comment down below. If you read Salem's Lot, if you read Rage by uh, Stephen King, leave comments down below. Let's talk about the story. Let's talk about the book, and let's, let's keep this conversation going. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.